looking guy alongside the road run. I mean, run like hell. Not only is he a bad barber, but uh, he'll leave you with a severe case of uneven bleeding and scorched eardrums. So just get away from that guy. That's all I can say. So welcome to the 39th Annual Oyster Run in Anacortes, Washington. This is the largest motorcycle event that happens in the state. It happens in September every year on the fourth Sunday. And it is a blast. I don't know what else I can say about it. If you haven't been here, you need to get here. I mean, this should be on everyone's bucket list. As you can see from the aerial footage in the beginning of this video, parking like this for motorcycles is somewhere around 10 blocks long. I put the drone up in the middle of the thing and kind of panned out one way and flipped it around and panned out the other. And it's like this all day long on Oyster Run Sunday. The event itself started back in the 80s, I think uh, 82 or 83. Lee and a group of people decided to ride up north and get some oysters and they had a great time and became an annual thing and it slowly evolved from a small ride into uh, the monstrosity that has become today. One of my favorite things about the Oyster Run is uh, meeting people and find out where they're coming from. So many people come from all over the Pacific Northwest to be here for this one Sunday. It's truly amazing. Uh, this year I met people from uh, BC, people from Oregon, people from Idaho. Uh, it's a long ride for them and they uh, ride all the way out here just for this one event that lasts a Sunday afternoon only. Pretty amazing. The other thing I really enjoy about the event is seeing old friends and meeting new people. Some of these friends I'm not going to see again till spring, so it, it makes it a special time. Is that a camera? It is! Cool! This year I decided to uh, kind of travel back in time and uh, myself personally ride the old school route that uh, we used to take when everyone left together from the California Tavern in Marysville. I'm going to say this is back in the 90s and it was a blast. I mean, well, check us out. Here we got uh, Riderettes on the right and uh, Hacardis on the left. Very cool motorcycles. At any rate, I'm going to throw up the ride map here that shows kind of the route that we used to go. We'd all meet up at the California Tavern and uh, they'd come on out at a certain time, wave the flag. All the motorcycles would fire up at once and man, we'd head on all out together. It was an amazing to see that many like, thousands and thousands of motorcycles all hitting the highway at the same time. Unfortunately, that kind of got uh, shut down, but it was a blast. The Lucky 13 now it's in Marysville it used to be called the uh, California Tavern. That's where we started out from. And then we'd uh, get on our bikes and ride and ride all the way up Highway 9 until we got to Evelyn's Tavern in Clear Lake. Evelyn's is an awesome place, biker friendly establishment, and uh, I don't know. It just doesn't seem like it's the oyster run if you don't get a stop in at Evelyn's and have a barbecued oyster. Sorry. Oh, you're good, man. And here we are uh, outside at Evelyn's. You know, uh, back in the day, this used to be like packed. I mean, you could not park anywhere. It was tough to find this place. From one end of town to the other was all motorcycles and uh, the entire park was full, parked five deep. But still, there's plenty of people out here. And how often do you get a chance to eat oysters with Tommy Lasorda? It's amazing. Leaving Evans, we'd uh, ride on up north all the way to Edison. A uh, lovely little saloon up there called the Longhorn. Man, if you weren't one of the first bikes to get in here, uh, you weren't parking anywhere, and odds of getting inside the Longhorn were pretty slim because that place was packed out. And uh, it's still great to stop in at the Longhorn Saloon on Oyster Run Sunday and uh, relive the old days. It still packs out pretty good in there. Not like it used to be, but a uh, lovely Indian parked out front this year. Man, I love that bike. Anyhow, it's great back in the beer garden. Get yourself an oyster shooter or two and maybe a beer. The thing to remember is don't drink too much. You still got to ride on into Anacortes. You know you drank too much if the world looks like this. No, I gotta get my 
And uh, here we are, uh, right at the very beginning, entering downtown Anacortes, Washington. Yeah, I had a great time at this year's Oyster Run. It was really nice to see a lot of my old friends. Oh, and here's the Seattle Cossacks. Uh, they're performing during the Oyster Run. Always a crowd favorite. These guys are incredible. The uh, stunts and precision riding that they do is really amazing. Uh, they've uh, been on several other of my videos earlier this year, but uh, if you get a chance to get out and see these guys ride, they are a lot of fun. Definitely always a crowd favorite. After watching a bit of this, it's probably uh, time to check out the local scene. I think we're going to head on into a club. All the clubs and bars are open on Oyster Run Sunday, so 